Lastly, we're going to scan eye jigs, which is full arch implants on um, uh, full arch prosthetics on implants, uh, where we're scanning the implant position using analogs. All right, let's see how this scanner does with an eye jig scan. This is a prosthetic a patient's been wearing. It's time for a new one. So what do we do? We just uh, screwed in our multi-unit analogs, nice and tight, real firm. And then we just simply hold it on our fingers and we scan it. And we do this because we can scan the teeth, the tissue, the implant position, the opposing, the bite, all in one event, all in one chair side seating, one appointment. You don't have to have five, six, seven, eight appointments to get this patient a new prosthetic. You just need your wand, our scan bodies, and just follow our technique. All right, so we have the prosthetic, and then what you'll see next is we're gonna scan the iJig scan analogs. So I'm gonna hold it by one of the scan analogs and then I'm gonna come here on the other side of the arch. And what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna poke up and grab one scan body like this, move a little bit down, pick up the next one, that, third one, Since I'm here, I'm going to go ahead and scan the intaglio. You might, might be asking yourself, well, if you scan the intaglio, what about the tissue gap? Well, that's when you scan the mouth. So just follow our iJig scan protocol for that part of it. But all we really want to do is digitize the prosthesis and have it aligned with the implants. That's what, that's what we're doing here. Try to get these scan bodies analogs as good as you can because we use software that recognizes them and then re uh, registers them. Okay, so now we just have to get the one where my finger was. Let's hope this picks up. There we go. Wow, this thing really picks up nicely. Don't always experience that with all the scanners. There we go. It's going to remove uh, where my glove was as I scan around that area and we'll come up on the lingual too and then the glove will totally disappear. Let me show you here. I'm going to try to do this without having to move my hand position. And you can even see this prosthetic has a big crack in it. You know, but the doctor verified that it fit. And um, oops. You can see it, you can see it just fixed what it had. It had a little problem. It was had a little concern with some stitching, and it reoriented itself and aligned itself. So you see here there's a little break in the prosthetic right there. <laughs> so it was time for a new one. I'm gonna set it down so it's oops, so it's real stable, I think. Ah, maybe not, okay. I'm just gonna do a little bit more of the occlusion to get these holes down in the holes there. Probably don't need to do it, but I'm gonna do it anyway. All right, so that's about a three minute scan for an IG. So that was, that was a really nice successful scan of an existing prosthesis to make a new one.